Morning, all you St. Pius kids. Father Russ here. We're going to do church today and uh, celebrating the Good Shepherd. Jesus is our Good Shepherd. He will never, ever leave us, and that is good to know during these times. And so we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate our Easter faith, mindful that Christ's presence is still with us and always with us until the end of time. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life and the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you gather everybody into your kingdom. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray that Christ, our shepherd, will lead us through the difficulties of this life. Almighty and ever-living God, give us new strength from the courage of Christ, our shepherd, and lead us to join the saints in heaven, where he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood with the eleven apostles and spoke in a loud and clear voice to the crowd. Everyone in Israel should know for certain that God made, both, made Jesus both Lord and Christ, even though you put him to death on a cross. When the people heard this, they were very upset, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, Friends, what shall we do? Peter said, Turn back to God. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins will be forgiven. And then you will be given the Holy Spirit. This promise is for you and your children. It is for everyone our Lord will choose, no matter where they live. And Peter told the people many other things as well. And then he said, I beg you to save yourselves from what will happen to all the evil people. On that day, about 3,000 believed his message and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You, Lord, are my shepherd. I will never be in need. You let me rest in fields of green grass. You lead me to streams of peaceful water, and you refresh my life. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You are true to your name, and you lead me along the right paths. I may walk through the valleys as dark as death, but I won't be afraid. You are with me and your shepherd's rod makes me feel safe. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Your kindness and love will always be with me each day of my life, and I will live forever in your house, Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord my God, I ask you to be on my mind, my lips, and my heart, as worthy they proclaim your holy gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd who never leaves us and leads us to eternal life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you for certain that only thieves and robbers climb over the fence instead of going in through the gate to the sheep pen. But the gatekeeper opens the gate for the shepherd, and he goes in through it. The sheep know their shepherd's voice. He calls each of them by name and leads them out. When he has led out all of his sheep, he walks in front of them, and they follow him because they know his voice. The sheep will not follow strangers. They don't recognize a stranger's voice, and they run away. Jesus told the people this story, but they did not understand what he was talking about. 
And then Jesus said, I tell you for certain that I am the gate for the sheep. Everyone who came before me was a thief or a robber, and the sheep did not listen to any of them. I am the gate. All who come in through me will be saved. Through me they will come and go and find pasture. A thief comes only to rob, to kill, and to destroy. I came so that everyone would have life and have it in its fullness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we are all familiar, you know, with movies sometimes that we watch. And if we watch a movie for a, for a long time, you know, over and over again, like, you know, sometimes we do, we, we know, you know, who said what in the movie, you know. And so I'm going to say a line from a movie that maybe you have seen, and then you guess you guess who the character is that said those words, okay? So, who said this? To infinity and beyond. Anybody know? I'll give you a minute. No, I'll give you a couple seconds. Who said that? That's right, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear said that, to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story, okay? Here's another one. Some people are worth melting for. Who said that? Who said that? You're right. Olaf from Frozen. Yeah, he said that. Olaf from Frozen. How about this one? Just keep swimming. Who said that? That's right. Dory from Finding Nemo. Dory from Finding Nemo. Yeah. Who says this? Now you should know this one. Me want cookie. Me want cookie. That's right. Cookie Monster. Me want cookie. Me want cookie. I ate a, I, I bought a, a whole package of Nutter Butters the other night, and I ate them in one sitting. Who said this? Now, maybe this is an old movie you might not know, but this one is, In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. Mary Poppins. Just the boom, boom, the sugar, mix the medicine, boom, down. It's easy to remember, you know, words that people say if we watch a movie, you know, maybe several times. And we, we know that voice. You know, who said that? Who said that? Oh, I remember hearing that voice that was, you know, Olaf or, you know, Buzz Lightyear or something like that. You know, in the gospel today, Jesus said the sheep, the sheep know him because they hear his voice. They hear his voice. See, that's the challenge. That's our challenge. To listen to the shepherd. Jesus. Jesus is our shepherd, you see. He is our shepherd, and he wants us to listen to his voice. And why do we listen to the good shepherd's voice? So that we can learn from him. We can learn from him. You know, and, and Jesus sometimes, you know, he, he asks us to do things that are might be a little difficult to do. But if we listen and believe and trust that Jesus' voice, when we listen to it, will lead us to abundant life. It will lead us to abundant life. You know, Jesus is our good shepherd and he'll never leave us. And, and that's good to remember in times like these. You know, and I'm so happy that you guys are continuing to learn and stuff. Yesterday morning, or the other morning, I was out there where the, the, the kindergarten teachers were, were giving away, the parents were coming up and picking up the, 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 the class materials for you. And that's good that you're continuing to learn and to study, you know, to listen, you know, to what your teachers, you know, want you to do, what mom and dad want you to do, you know, now that you're in the house. Not to fight with brother and sister so much. 
because you know that can happen. And so when we when we find ourselves like that, we listen to the voice of the shepherd, Jesus, who wants to lead us to abundant life. And so we're mindful that that psalm that we just prayed here, the Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. Jesus will never leave us because he is our good shepherd who leads us to eternal life. May we always listen, listen, and recognize his voice. And so in faith and confidence now we present our prayers and we're confident that God grants us what we need. And we pray for our Holy Father Francis and for our Bishop John and for all who lead in the church at this time that, they, that we may continue to find ways to, to extend the presence of Christ uh, to everyone so that we may be fed by the Good Shepherd and led to eternal life. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the good shepherds out there in the medical field who are helping people, you know, with this virus, that, that, that those shepherds may, you know, lead the sheep who are sick and, and to give them courage to continue, you know, their ministry as being good shepherds to the sick people. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for those people who are ill and have asked for our prayers. You know, those people who are, have cancers and, you know, who suffer from, from illnesses that God may grant them healing, that the shepherd may guide them. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for you guys. We pray that you may continue to learn, to listen to the voices of your teachers, your moms and dads, and above all, the voice of the shepherd. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of our faithful departed loved ones. We remember, especially Mark McCarter, for whom this Mass is offered. And for all of our loved ones who are now in the, in the bosom of the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And good and gracious God, we make these prayers and all those unspoken in the depths of our heart through your Son. He lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. And this will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mingling of the water and the wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Oh Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice that we offer you, with humble and with contrite heart. And Lord God, wash away all my iniquity, cleanse me of my many sins. <clears throat> Pray with me that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, restore us by these Easter mysteries. May the continuing work of our Redeemer bring us eternal joy. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He has made us children of the light, rising to new and everlasting life. He has opened the gates of heaven to receive his faithful people. His death is our ransom from death. His resurrection is our rising to life. The joy of the resurrection renews the whole world, while the choirs of heaven sing forever to your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. 
He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends. And he promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always so that we can live as your children. God, our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus, your son, showed us how much you loved us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. And then he broke the bread, he gave it to his friends, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, and it will be given up for you. And when the supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you, he gave it to his friends, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and your resurrection, you have set us free. And so, Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice that we offer you here. Lord, listen to our prayers and send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May this spirit bring us closer together in the family of the church, with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all who serve your people. Remember, Father, our families and our friends and all those who do not love as we should. Remember those who have died. Bring them home to be with you forever. And gather us all together into your kingdom, and there we shall be happy forever, with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother. And there all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Okay, now we make our big circle like we do around the altar big imaginary circle so grab my hands and we'll all pray to our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us Lord from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with all of you. Peace of Christ, everyone. God bless you. <clears throat>
at this time. We behold the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God. We behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul will be healed. Boy, we got some birthdays here. Got some birthdays. Uh, Sarah Tron had a birthday. Cinco de Mayo, 5'5. Five, five. Cinco de Mayo. Uh, Savannah Tim, 5'7. Um, Savannah Tim, birthday. Henry Wagner, 5'11. Um, Henry Wagner. Ashley Zanovic, 5'12. Um, 5'12 five, twelve. Five, twelve for Ashley. And Aubrey Restovich, on 513, Aubrey Restovich, 513. Well, we're going to sing a happy birthday to all these beautiful people. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Sarah, Savannah, Henry, Ashley, and Aubrey. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. God bless you. And let us pray. Father, eternal shepherd, watch over the flock redeemed by the blood of Christ and lead us to the promised land. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless you all. Miss you very much. Miss your joy that you bring to our world. And uh, please stay safe and stay well. God bless you.